Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I call me the Dream Levox this way, yeah. Welcome back to another episode of Stay. Let's connect and uh we had to make the puzzle, you right? Yes, I don't really know what kind of puzzle it is, and I'm not really sure how to make it. But I'll just try. Maybe I mean look. Two Two, you know the Mars. There are two Mars, two Mars. Maybe I oh, know, no, 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 no. You know, I thought maybe we just have to open all the th ones that are that have the Mars. This should be, me yeah, good. Finally, I had and needed some help. Okay. Are you still there? Are you still there? Yes, I know. This is bad. Hombre speaking. Why? After quite a difficult path. You set my all manner of traps and shenanigans. A royal peacocks, peacocks walking around. Royal peacocks in Greek or Roman mythology. The peacock uh, symbolized the vault of heaven and the eyes of the stars. In Hinduism, it presents benevol benevolence, patience, kindness, compassion, and good luck. In Asian spiritual spirituality, it is an emblem of love, compassionate, watchfulness, goodwill, nurture, nurturing, and kind heartness. In ba Babylonia, Babylonia and Persia, it is seen as a guardian to royalty. In Christianity, it represents the passive vig vigilance, resurrection, renewal, and immortality. In stay, it looks like the companion of Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> and losing feathers everywhere. Feather. For Native Americans, it represents ascension and spiritual ev evolution being worn by the chiefs to symbolize their communication with spirit. As a, Celt as a Celtic symbol meaning, and Ke for those who don't know Celtic, as far as I know, Celtics are Vikings. So the word Vikings came from uh, came from somewhere else. Their actual name are Celtics, Celtics. Symbol meaning the feather was worn by Druids in the form of ornate. Feather is robots to invoke the sky gods. The Egyptians believe the same. In Christianity, feathers represents virtues. What's heavier, a pound of feather or a pound of lead? <laughs> That's interesting. Yes, I swear to you, it's true. You made it alive and kicking. Oh, oh, oh. But can't stop, won't stop. I could be very near the end. And there's no way back. I really need to find it. Whatever I'm looking for. Just let me catch my breath. A few minutes and I'll be back soon. Kitchen? Or what is that? Chapter 12 Colonne So Jeez, I seem to have reached the heart of this place. I sure about this and all over the kitchen. Oh ha ha. Is there something to eat, man? Although this one looks more like Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Not that TV show with that blonde bloke who says fuck every two seconds. <laughs> There's nothing but havoc and destruction here. Huh. 
rotten cabinets, the refrigerator from Requiem, or the dream and table with some hybrid game deck cross chess uh, with the Jumanji. Sorry about all those movie references. It's easier than describing it accurately. I'm lazy. Uh, and I just stepped on what I hope is a puddle of water. Barefoot. Maybe it's blood. Can't tell because you know this place has the light of an op opium house. How oh, well I've gone. From being restricted to a single room to being able to access several areas. Of what appears to be an abandoned, ab abandoned house. Kitchen knives. I don't want to alarm you, but uh, given the state of that kitchen, we could possibly potentially facing someone extremely violent. Look for some weapon, like kitchen knives or something. After everything you experienced and seen, do you have any idea who the owner might be? Ah, oh, yeah. I know that will be the right one. Huh? None so far. I'm still thinking about my former patients. I had one who was really complicated. Almost killed a friend over an absurd discussion. Was exponentially bright man. But one of those people who only pentis pontificate pontificates and never discuss if it's him i'm doomed <laughs> if it's him but nothing like checking someone's straw goes to get to know all his dirty secrets <laughs> let's see an old rusty knife and a silicone spatula wait a minute while i search for one of those spiralizers cheese I'm starting to feel quite run down actually. And every time I look at the fright, my stomach churns. I feel weak, my legs are shaking, my feet dripping in sweat. I really need some fuel. I always figured being under extreme stress would annihilate my ap appetite. But my body seems to work the other way around. Uh, you can last a little longer before eating. Direct your ex anxiety towards finding an exit. First thing do I do when I'm hungry is check in with my dear friend, Mr. Fridge. There must be something non-perishable there. Search for food. Check this maybe? I don't know. Oh, I guess it was right. Very good. I'm not sure if that's a wise decision. Fuck! Oh, I just took a close look at the fridge. And although it's plugged in, that doesn't mean that uh, whatever is in there isn't past expiration or even growing grass. Little colonies. Could be so portrayed and drank that it might come alive and want to eat me instead. Well, that's true too. You should know by now that all confined spaces in this house have to be handled without the cushion. Are you sure it's the right call? Your paranoia is rubbing me off of me. Just forget it. Come on, maybe it contains something else useful. Do it. Okay, for real? I don't know. I don't know. I really thought you would uh, sense my discomfort and suspicion. You should see how this fridge looks. I know that you should never judge a book by its cover. In this case, a fridge by its dingy door. But it really gives me the heebie jeebies. So much that I would nearly ignore my hunger. But that's not an option anymore. <laughs> Opens the same. Oh.
Oh. What's that? <laughs> oh no. Ah. Okay, okay. Please don't restart the whole game. Just chapter 12, right? Yeah. <laughs> Oops, oops, oops. Yeah, I mean, I know it looked, but um, I don't know. I'm starting to get a feel that the most important thing for him is uh, to pick every time, find an exit, find an exit, find an exit. I will try it this way now. Okay, this time we pick find an exit. <laughs> Ah. ah, thanks for making me feel guilty about food. What a lousy shrink you would make. As good as I was. Meenex society. Alright then, I'll focus all my anxiety on something else. Getting out of my... Of, getting out is my number one priority. But eating now sure will tell a lot. Okay, then calm down with the food issue. First thing I'll do to check my kitchen cabinets. Mention some kind of game on the table. What is it? Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. It's like an ensign game of cheese. Of chess. Very well arranged, uh, standing out from all the chambers. The pieces and it positioning is quite different. Uh, yeah, so. Um. I'm, I guess that means something, those lights. Okay. Maybe it's... Maybe... Hey, wait. Or not, no. I don't know. Can't move those, but those. Uh huh. Okay, so we got this part, and it's actually pretty easy because I just try every statue. On every position. Okay. There. There. And there. So, oh, what do you get, dude? Hey, you still there? Sorry, but I guess that when your mind is busy with something else, you forget to eat. So I tried to solve the Jumanji thing and something came out. Don't worry, no crazy hunter. Just a doorknob, weird. Everything in there is delivered piece by piece. Look, uh, uh, piece like a goddamn puzzle. What if in the end there's a piece missing? The door not belongs to the door inside the kitchen. Check for it. I'm looking around. All I see are destroyed cabinets, the old fridge, and 
I think I see something behind that cabinet. That kitchen was visited by the Tasmania devil. Minion? That I feel lucky to have spotted what I believe to be a door. Let me give it a look. Be right back. Okay. What to what, what is it? Oh no, nice. cool, cool. Some things to eat. 35% of the users, including you, use every possible excuse to get you to the exit. No, that's just here. Hmm. Ah. No, I, I just went for him. I thought that would be the right decision for him. Hmm. Chapter 13, Fortuna. Here's Johnny. Here's J no, just me, Quinn. No X, no kill instinct. At least for now. What are the odds of being this fucking hungry? And finding the cookie you hate the most. As the only pitiful option. <laughs> I find a whole supply of fortune cookies. Enough to feed all Asia and part of uh, Europe. That's what I call bad eating habits. The whole kidnapping thing makes me more sense now. Makes more sense now. Look of vit vit vitamins and proteins and whatnot makes you do weird shit. Oh. You're in no situation to be picky right now. Eat the cookies. Something seems off. Don't eat the cookies. Oh man, again, such a situation. I don't know. Uh, uh. Oh man. Who feeds exclusively on a bit of flour, sugar, vanilla, and see some seed oil with a piece of paper inside? And picture someone with a mix of surfy. Pelagra and Ricketts, a highly silky creature. No cookies for me, thanks. Thought you were smarter than this. You're making bigger. You, you are right. Who knows what's inside? Cookies don't accept it. Thank you. For a moment, I really thought I had no choice. I probably have no choice. I may regret it when I'm here drinking my own piss to stay hydrated. <laughs> but for now I still have the luxury of refusing some moldy cookies. Anyway, after a closer look I realize something peculiar. There's only one open box. And it has has just a single fortune cookie inside. What if he did a clue in it? All the other boxes are sealed and untouched. I think you are giving it more importance than it really has. Search your pantry. Never mind the cookie, let's see what an unopened box may hide. Uh mm. <laughs> Okay, last question, then this will be the episode for the day. I don't know, what do you think? Man! That's a bit absurd. I'm sorry, man. There must be like a hundred boxes in there. Also, I don't have the luxury of time to go over. I don't have the luxury of time to go through all every box of a one by one. I'm telling you, that single cookie is calling me. It's paying me. Oh, Quinn, spilled me in the hall. 
That didn't sound right. <laughs> Sorry, what shall I do then? Go ahead, on the cookie, let's hear your... They could have hidden something inside the cookie, better throw it away against the walls. Uh, first, huh? Go ahead, open the cookie, let's hear your fortune. Okay, then. But first, let me tell you a little story. Did you know that the exact origin of fortune cookies is unclear? But they were like m most likely brought to the west by Japanese immigrants in the ni late 19th or the early 20th century. The Japanese version didn't have the Chinese lucky numbers and they were eaten with tea. <laughs> Long live Wikipedia death to boredom. <laughs> yes, I'm the lying the innovate table. Wanna know my wonderful fortune? It's a little bit of life philosophy in a bit size chunk, but this one brings more than just our fortune. It says I will die alone and poorly dressed. I'm alone in here and my pajamas and barefoot. <laughs> I don't believe that shit. A pretty accurate one. Forty-nine percent of the users, including you, would have a steady job in 1871. Nowadays, they probably have machines doing it. Yeah. True. I mean, about those jobs. Well, pff. no. I doing. I'm making these choices because I think it's good for him, not for me. I don't uh, think about me about those choices. There, just. To inform you, Medicinia. Yeah, well. You know what? I'm not going to let someone who never got their novel published and ended up getting a job that and only requires two sentences per job. Mess up my mind even more, good man. Screw it. There you go. Screw this house. Screw everybody. My current situation is a complete nightmare. What reasons are there to keep on going? Dream. Well, I have to tell you something. I found two bottles of pills in the bathroom and didn't say a word about it. That's quite normal to find a medicine cabinet, and I thought we were going to be honest with each other. Why did you lie to me? I don't know. Just thought it was best to keep it to myself. <laughs> or perhaps because I knew you wouldn't approve it of it. Or just freak out and leave me. I'm sorry. But the thing is, I don't think I can do it without extra help. I'm not okay. So which one is it? The blue pill or the red pill? Ho! Oh, I won't leave you because of that. I just want a little bit more transparency from you. Given the circumstances in which we met, I think I was even more transparent with you than I usually am with everybody. With anybody. Didn't tell you about the pills because I didn't feel the need for it. Didn't seem to be valuable information at the time. But I regret it now and I promise. I won't keep anything else I found in this house from you. Good man. Cross my heart and hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. Yada yada yada. Did you check the balls for clues? 
Just check how much time is left. Good idea. Could have information about the owner. Let's see. There's only the expiration date, the nature of the pills. But wait, the bottom of the bottle? Has something scratched out? Like the owner's name was erased on purpose. It starts with a Q. And that's it. Thinking about it. I had two patients whose names started with a Q. One was Quincy, a really sweet but troubled guy. And the other was called Quinton, quite frenetic but a genius. And then there's me, Quinn. <laughs> Maybe they're just mean for me. Just to let you know, Quinn, whatever that whatever those pills mean, you're doing really good, albeit the awful situation you're in. They could be for you, they could be... Oh, this one. Guess we're doing now the right thing, huh? Thank you for those wonderful words. I know that most of the time I'm a little bit sarcastic. Yeah, like I said, the most, uh, the most, uh, literally every answers that I pick are my thoughts. So uh, I think about them and think that they are better for him, but not my opinion about it. Oh, sorry. 76% um, uh, of the users, including you, must be one of those people who see religious figures. On toasts. Not everything means something then that's a really good thing. <laughs> Chapter 15. Is this your remoter? So. I know that most of the time uh, that I may seem like I don't appreciate everything you're doing for me. But I am. I really am. Let's move on and see uh, in a bit. I j you just called me making a mental recap of what I gathered so far. And I'll open it box, a weird book, and I'll load a gun and a cat that comes and goes. And not to start a new civilization with the expiration <laughs> expiration date of yogurt. Of a yogurt. I'm starting to understand how this house works. Things are not what they seem, they are places hidden everywhere. I'm gonna search this place like a goddamn CSI team. I don't know if I'm unconsciously mo motivated by my appetite, but I can't seem to get out of this kitchen. Oh, can't you just climb up, dude? Which could also be because there's something else that I must uncover. Yeah. Right in this part of the house. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this will be the episode for today. Ah, oh, man, those decisions, you know? Pah. I thought that would be uh, good for him, that it would improve the trust level with him. But, uh, yeah. But, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed it, like it, share, subscribe, and don't leave anything out, don't leave anything out. And as always, remember, dreams can true, so what you have to do, just believe in you. Ladies and gentlemen, you should watch a money for me, and especially for you. You should watch Darling and Frank, for sure. And if you want me to recommend you some, it would be a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy watching.